This tutorial concerns finding the quotient and remainder of a polynomial division and using this to write the answer to the division. So having a look at this question here, find the quotient and remainder of x cubed plus 5x squared plus 3 divided by x plus 2. So we're going to write this in what's called the bus stop method, which is one method of doing this. So x plus 2 and we're di dividing that into x cubed plus 5x squared. Now we've got to leave room for every term here. So we've got to leave room for the x's as well. Plus 0x, then plus 3. Make sure that every term has a place in this division. Right, so what we're going to do now is take the highest power of x in the bit that's been divided and see what we'll have to times it by to get to the highest power of x in here. So we have to times this by x squared to get to there. Therefore, the answer to this part of the division is 1x squared. I'm going to write that above the x squared terms. Next step, take what we've just written and multiply it by what we're dividing by and write it underneath here. So that becomes x cubed plus 2x squared and what we're going to do, we're going to subtract this line here from the line above. x cubed take x cubed is nothing. 5x squared take 2x squared is 3x squared plus 0x plus 3. And that's the first step done. The next step is just an exact repeat of what we've just done. So the highest power of x in what we're dividing by going into the highest power of x here. So what do we have to times by to get from x to 3x squared? We have to times by 3x. So that's the answer to this part, plus 3x. Now, exactly what we did before, take what we've just written down, the plus 3x, and multiply by x plus 2. That gives us 3x squared plus 6x. And subtract. Now, that's why it was important to give the x's a space. Had we not have given the x as a column here, we would have had no way to write that 6x. Subtract it to get 3x squared minus 3x squared, which is 0. 0 minus, uh, minus positive 6x squared is minus 6x. And 3 minus 0 is 3. Okay. And again, repeat. Highest power of x here into the highest power of x here becomes minus 6. Take what we've just written and multiply, we get minus 6x minus 12, subtract, okay, minus 6x, double minus 6x, 0, 3 minus minus 12 is 15, and we've got it. The quotient is this part here, and the remainder is this part here. Now what is the quotient, what is the remainder? Well, the quotient, when we do a sum, let's say we're doing 7 divided by 2. The quotient is the whole number part. So equals 7 divided by 2 is 3. With 1 left over, plus 1. But that 1 is still yet to be divided by 2. So the quotient, the whole number part, is 3. Then there's one remainder, which needs to be divided by 2. So 3 is the quotient. And 1 is the remainder. And after we found the remainder, we know we have to divide by 2 because the sum was divided by 2. So likewise here, we found the quotient and the remainder. We fulfilled what the question asked for. However, if we were to write the actual answer to this division, it would be just like we did before. For the numbers, the quotient, x squared plus 3x minus 6. That's the whole number part of the answer. Then we've got the remainder, which is 15 which hasn't been yet, but needs to be divided by x plus 2. So the quotient, x squared plus 3x minus 6, the remainder is 15, and the answer to the division itself is x squared plus 3x minus 6 plus 15, the remainder over x plus 2. For more resources like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to alevelmathsrevision.com.